makeshift home for our little Grodan cubes here using some skewers. Uh, the skewers, I was thinking about putting them through, but I decided now I'm going to go ahead and use these little grooves. Here we go. The grooves on the side right here, they make for a better, a better support and it won't damage the roots if I skewer it through. So I'm just going to place this down right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and grab another one and put it down, making sure they're not too close. You want to give them enough so they don't touch and they don't crowd each other in the little tank. So take a twist tie, wrap it around like this, and then twist it. Uh, make sure and twist it a couple times. I made the mistake of doing it only once, and then it came undone in a previous test. Anyway, take your two sticks and put them, hold them up like that. Put your twist tie. On, uh, hold on. Let me put. Let me put it this way. So put it on one end. Now pick it up, and this should cause some tension on the sides. There we go. Now squeeze the end together. Won't oh, watch the leaf. Almost got the leaf there. And I'm gonna get another one I've already twisted earlier and put it on this end. I dropped it, hold on. Let me pick it up and put it on this end. There we go. Now, that works. All right, yeah, that works nice. Okay, I'm gonna adjust the height using that little groove as a reference because you want them all the same height. If they, they're they not the same height, then you end up with, uh, with problems because some are submerged deeper than others thus they absorb more moisture and their little roots aren't quite as wet. So I'm just going to finish tightening up the little twist ties here and we'll work on our second set. I'm just going to do the same procedure. I'll place that one there, that one there, and I've learned a new trick so I'm going to use that one. Put my twist tie on this end, spread it across the plants like so, and we're going to put the other one right here on the other end. Uh, difficult to thread it. There we go, this one's twisted on the top so it's a little bit more, it's a little harder to see from where I'm standing. But there we go, tighten them up. Make sure we got it good and snug, adjust the height. And there we go, I'm gonna put them side by side, make sure they're all the same from set to set because I don't want them, one set to be deeper than the other. All right, there we go. So, now we have our four little plants. Set those aside. Now we're going to pick up our container. It's a basic Tupperware container, nothing fancy. And it's about the right depth when you put it in there. You've got about twice as much space as you need, so that'll allow for some expanded root growth. Uh, this is only temporary, but if not, it'll work. Plant them in there, set them in there, and then there you go. That's nice and done. So I have some nutrient solution that I've already mixed. I'm going to pour that in there. I want to try to cover about a quarter of an inch of the bottom of the uh, Grodan cube. That last quarter of an inch will allow the cube to absorb moisture and the roots on the bottom that have emerged from the bottom to go ahead and suck up some nutrients. Uh, that looks about right. Another thing that's really important is to adjust them. Make sure that all four of your little plants have the same amount of exposure to the nutrient solution. That way one doesn't get more than the other. So there's our temporary home for our Grodan and lettuce plants.